All a Muslim woman is a private part, as we heard, she is an aura. But in here we see uh, more details about uh, what a Muslim woman uh, description if she do certain things. Uh, you know, in here we will see that Muhammad was speaking. The Prophet said, "Every eye commit fornication and adultery, and when one puts a perfume and pass through a gathering, she is such and such." Uh, such and such uh, they are trying to be nice they did not say that he's saying she is a whore uh, meaning an adulteress he said and there is similar report etc so you know if a Muslim woman she walk in a street and she have a perfume according to Islam she is a whore now some people they might say you know what uh, perfume get attention of people smell good etc right uh, so what about we make women and force women to smell like shit as uh, that will make it uh, make you happy because if the point is not to get attention of uh, for fornication here we go people will get disgusted and people will not get close to you will not talk to you so smell like shit sorry for using the word that will make Allah happy. Same time, you know, uh, why perfume is bad? Why why perfume is bad? What the you know? Why if we use perfume will make us a bad person? Is it a, a behave we do, or a smell of us? You know, like why Muslims? Why Muslims? They are focusing in, 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 in what other people do. They don't focus on what they do themselves. Like, you know, a daughter is an adulter. It's what you do. A woman walking by, wearing perfume or not, uh, she is showing her body or not. If I have a faithy mind, I will think about her in a faithy way. And I will give you an example. If a Muslim man... The Muslim women, Muslims agree that Muslim women she can have perfume uh, in her family, let us say her husband or her brother or her son. That is fine. Okay, just wait. This is mean the perfume is not the problem because here we go, you smell your mother wearing a perfume, but you don't get excited. A Muslim woman, she can show her body in the front of sun. I'm not saying she can go naked, no. But she can show what, what she cannot show to others. You know, she can wear comfortable clothes inside the home. Now, when your son see you showing your legs, do he go and masturbate? Imagine his mother? No. So, it's not seeing legs. It's not seeing a, a, a nakedness only. It is what you want to think of that woman. She is a woman like every woman. Trust me, your mother, she have uh, everything other women have. Your sister, she have everything other women have. So how come you don't think about them, but you think about other women? Simply because you decide to think in a certain way, and then you do what you want. To do, what you want. It's you who control how you think. It's not nakedness, it's how you see it. But in here, we see Muhammad is focusing that a woman, a woman, she is the problem. She wear a perfume, she is causing people to commit adultery. Now, I will show you another hadith about Muhammad, and that will show the hypocrisy of this filthy man. Supposedly, he is trying to prevent people from doing adultery, but he himself is a big adulterer. Let us see what Muhammad did. Read with me, please, this hadith. This is Sahih Muslim. Remember, all those stories is Muhammad, he is teaching people not to look at women because that will make them commit sin, correct? Okay, let's see how Muhammad himself he behave when he see a woman. And by the way, this is the English translation, the Arabic translation, the Arabic words is totally different. But we will go with the Muslim translation just to show you from their own translation, we can ex expose how Muhammad was. 
uh, Jabir reported that Allah Messenger, uh, Allah pray on him and salute him. Each time you see this, this is wrong. This is a Muslim false translation. It says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means Allah pray on him and salute him. False translation. What he saw, he saw a woman. And he, so he came to his wife. Okay, just wait, let us see the connection. So what Muhammad, what happened? Muhammad, he saw a woman. What does that mean? Why he saw a woman, so he came to his wife. He came to his wife to do what? Let us see. And so he came to his wife, Zainab, as she was tanning a leather and had sexual intercourse with her. Ah, okay, now we knew what it's meant by this. So, Muhammad, the prophet of the Abdul, he saw a woman, he got horny. Then he went to his wife and he had intercourse with her. Then, and by the way, the funny, if you read the real story in Arabic, he was sitting with his friends when the women get by. Imagine, guys, you have a friends sitting with you in your house. You know, they sit like, uh, their house is like open, you know, the street is open. So, uh, a woman, she walked by. Unless the Muslim, they want to say to me, by the way, the woman, she entered his house, and that would be uh, more shameful, actually. But anyway, however, he saw a woman, he have a friends, a woman passed by, Muhammad, he got excited. He left his friends in his house or in the front of his door sitting, you know, uh, and he went to do bang bang with his wife. This guy, he have no respect to himself. He's like a, like a, like a donkey. Like, you got excited, you have a friends with them, and you come back to your companions? You know, in the translation, they are making it like he went to his companion. He did not come back. The fact he came back to his companion. And look what he told them. Because he want to give himself an excuse now. He said, and he told them, the women advanced and reti retires in the shape of a devil. Ah, she is the problem. So he saw what? He saw a sheep. The shape of that devil made him horny. You see the hypocrisy of this filthy man? If she is in the shape of a devil, why you got horny? This is the prophet of Allah. You know, if the prophet of Islam anyway, when he see a woman coming, he put his, hand, his head in the floor, he don't look at her, he will not get excited, correct? It must be he was staring and staring and staring to the point, point he could not handle it no more. So he went to his wife. He could not get that woman. Hmm? So he went to his wife. His wife was working. It's not time for sex. His wife was doing business. Take off your clothes. Open your garage. And look what he told them. So when one of you sees a woman... He should come to his wife for that repeal that what he feels in his heart. Ah, so the, the prophet, he have a feeling in his heart for that woman she was walking by. This prophet, he is teaching you what you do. You can look at women, staring at them until you get horny enough and when you are ready to go, you go to your wife. And again, it's the fault of the women. It's not the fault of him. No, no, he's a victim. So Muhammad did not come to his wife because his wife made him horny. Muhammad did not come to his wife because his wife made him think of her because he loved her. No. A woman walking by. Now, I want to ask Muslims, how many women walk by a day cause you to be horny? To the point you go right away to your wife to have sex with her. What it take really to make a person horny to that point he want to have sex right now? To the point his wife, she is doing work. She is smell. She is dirty. As you see, she is doing leather. This is, this is a lot of work. 
to the point he cannot wait to enter even she finish her work. Showing disrespect for the women because the women she is doing something. This is not a time for it. What about waiting until it's night time? No. Muhammad, he want to get what he want right now. Your job number one is to give me what I want. And that is sex. After I finish with you, look, the woman she is the devil. It's not him the devil. She is the devil. Like the woman she just what 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 the women fault? What this woman who walk by fault? Nothing. She just walked by. That will make her a devil? Why does God he made women then? He made them to be the devil in this earth? The women walk by. She is a devil. What about a woman she is sitting and a man walk by? How come the man is not a devil? And she, she might get excited. He's handsome. You see, what I'm trying to show you in here, that Muhammad is a very filthy, perverted person. He is really making always the excuse on women to satisfy men. And women always are there to satisfy their needs. And women always is the one to blame. She come in the shape of a devil, as you see. And she leave in the shape of a devil. He is not blaming himself for being filthy, looking at the woman she is not his. You know, Jesus, he said, if you look at the woman, she is not yours, you commit adultery. If you look in which way? If you are wishing her, you commit adultery in your heart. So Muhammad, what he's saying, okay, look, enjoy, get horny, do your wife. In the same time, they are telling the Muslim women, sister, sister, cover your face, sister, sister. Cover your body, sister. Here we go. The woman, she is a Muslim woman. She covering her body. Did that did not prevent the Muhammad himself from getting horny and excited to the point he cannot wait until his friends leave. He cannot wait until his wife, she finish work. Finish work. That is telling us who is Muhammad. A woman, she put perfume for Muhammad. She is a whore, as we showed you. As we showed you in here. But you know, this woman, she is not. She did not put any perfume. The woman she was walking by, we show you in the hadith, she did not put perfume, she just passed by. So how come the man who wished the woman is not a whore, but the woman, for just putting a perfume, she is a whore? How come, the, how come the one who get excited, the one who get horny, the one who do the action, look, this woman, she did not do any action. The woman she was walking by Muhammad, she did nothing except walking by. She did not talk to men, she did not dance, she did not speak, she did not do anything. She walked by. She is a devil. Muhammad, the one get excited, is not the devil. She is a devil. So I hope people they will they will they will take this very seriously to you know to examine uh, uh, you know the honesty of this man and who is he? He is trying to make himself like a person who taught you know teaching people women modesty and to be in the chastity, etc. But the fact is totally the opposite. You know. To make it short for you, Islam is the, is the following. Islam says, theft is a crime, but not theft against non-Muslims. Islam says, adultery is haram, it's forbidden. But they will not say to you that you can do adultery in a different way. You can have sex with women who gave themselves to you to sleep with you. It's the same as the Prophet did. You can do muta. You can rent a woman for sex. You can sleep with a woman. She is married. As in chapter 20, uh, four, uh, 24, uh, sorry, chapter 4, verse 24, it's forbidden for you married women ex except, except your right hand possess. Except they are married, but you can have them still. You can have sex with them. You can have sex with the slaves as much as they are. Doesn't matter how many. 1,000, 10,000, doesn't matter. So, but adultery is haram. This is what they say. So, Islam actually changed the names of things and make it look different. They say it's haram, this is not right, etc. But the fact, it is right. Theft is right. Killing is right, as long as it's against non-Muslims. Even adultery is all right. You know, there's a story of a guy, he came to Muhammad, but our time is up, uh, and he was saying to him, I have sexual relationship with the women, but I did not do intercourse. The, man, the Muhammad, he said to him, it's okay, this is called a lemon. This is just an idea to show you what Muhammad is about, Follow with me with more videos. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I mean to that.